Hey dear friends, welcome back to God Master Quest. Today we've got something special. We are going to explore heap data structure in Swift. So let's get started and find out the definition of the heap and then try to implement it in Swift. Now let's find out the definition of the heap in this document. You can find the link to this document in the description below. A heap is a type of tree that has a special rules. It's a complete binary tree which means every level is fully filled except for the last level which is filled from left to right. And in a max heap, every parent node is bigger than its child nodes. So the biggest number is at the top. And in a min heap, it's the opposite. Every parent node is smaller than its child node, so the smallest number is at the top, All right? So now let's look at this image that we have a max heap and, in a, and a min heap, All right? If you look at here, 12 is greater than 10 and nine, and same relation is happening between 10 and its children and 9 and its children and you can find uh, you know uh, a min heap on the right hand side which one is less than 5 and 9 and same relation is happening between 5 and its children and 9 and its children now that we know the definition of the heap we need to know different methods to create a heap right uh, you can make a heap in various ways the, com the most common is using an array where each element know its parent and its children Another way is using a binary tree with pointers, but the array method is most common because it's efficient and it's easy to implement. Now that we decided to use array, we should know what's the relation between each node and its parent and its children, right? A complete binary tree has a core rule that we can use to find any node's parent or kid. Let's say we are looking at an element in an array and its spot is i. Uh, the element in the 2i plus 1 spot will be the left kid for this node and uh, the 2i plus 2 spot will be uh, its right kid. And to find uh, its parent, look at the you know, i minus 1 divided by 2 spot, rounded down if needed. Right? Now we know uh, the relation between each node and its parent and its children. So let's define um, a list. The uh, operation and function that we need to have for this data structure. You can find all the function, the necessary function for this data structure here. We need to have an insert operation, which add a new element to the heap. We should have remove, that take out the top element from the heap. We should have the pick, which show the top element without removing it from the heap, and bubble up and bubble down. Bubble up moves an element up the heap until it's in the right spot and bubble down, move an element down the heap until it's in the right spot. And you can find the you know, time complexity for this operation here. For example, insert should have a logarithmic time complexity and same uh, time complexity for removing the smallest number, the smallest element and largest element, right? Now let's um, switch back to the Visual Studio code and try to implement this data structure in Swift. I'm going to split my implementation into different phases. First of all, we need to define our data structure and then we can try to implement the function one by one. So let's say struct heap. And since we want to use uh, this heap with different data types, I'm going to use a generic here. So let's say T. And since we are going to compare uh, this data type together because it's a max heap or a min heap, then um, this uh, data type should conform to comparable. So let's say struct for t comparable. And then uh, we decided to use array for uh, this heap data structure, right? So let's say var elements, uh, which is going to be an array from type of t and it's empty by default. And then I'm going to define a variable to uh, set whether this is a max heap or it's a min heap. So let's say, is uh, max heap which is going to be a boolean and it's true by default and to be able to override this uh, variable i'm going to have a custom init function so let's say init is max heap boolean and the default value is true and then let's say self does is max heap is max heap there we go this is the building block for defining our max heap. Now let's try to define different function uh, for this data structure. Now let's define our insert function. Let's say mutating func. 
insert a new value from type of t then we should add this element uh, this value to the elements array so let's say element append value and after adding this new element to the to the heap we need to bring it to the uh, correct position and for this purpose we need to have bubble up function so let's say mutating func bubble up for index int we will complete this function later on it will be completed later on and then after adding the new element to the array we should say uh, bubble up for index element dot count minus one there we go now we have the insert function the next one is the remove function so let's say mutating func remove there is no input for this function and the return type is optional t because the elements can be empty right so let's say guard element is empty else return nil otherwise we are going to swap the first and last element in the array so let's say element swap at zero and element dot count minus one there we go then i'm going to remove the last one from the array so let's say value is element remove last then we at the end we are going to return this value but before removing the value we need to uh, bubble down the the first element until we find the correct position so we need to define our bubble down function here as well so let's say mutating find bubble down from index again we are going to uh, complete this one later on and here before removing the value we should say bubble down from index zero there we go here is the remove function the easiest function for this data structure is pick so let's define it here let's say func pick there is no input for this one as well and we should return an optional t here and for this function it's enough to return the first element of the array it's not pit it's pick so let's correct it here now let me start from bottom and find the correct place for this uh, index in the bubble of function so let's say i want to define a variable name i and store index in it and i'm going to do this because i'm going to change this value over the time and then let me make a constant and set it equal to elements and index i then a while loop uh, to find the correct place uh, starting from bottom right so let's say while i is greater than zero then i want to define the parent here uh, the index for the parent tells index i which is going to be i minus one divided by two based on the fact that we found in documentation then if this is a max heap and the value is greater than element at index parent then this means that this is not in the correct place and we should check the same thing for the mean heap as well right so if there's not a max heap which means there's a mean heap and value is less than elements on the parent index then we should say um, elements i should be equal to elements parent and i should be equal to parent and if this is not going to be happen then we should break from this while loop right because we found the correct place and at the end we should say element and i should be equal to value and this is the definition of our bubble of function now let's do the same thing but this time starting from top so let's say var i equal to index same thing as we did with the bubble up uh, value equal to elements and index i right and then we need to make a while loop but since we are starting from top we need to change our condition here so let's say while two multiplies 
and I multiply by i plus one is less than elements that count, which means that left child is fit inside the array. Then we should define our child index, which is going to be the left child at the beginning to multiply by i plus one. But since we have two children for each node, we need to find out which uh, children should be compared with its parent, right? So uh, if this is a maxi, we should um, check it with the greater child. And if it's the min heap, we should um, check the element with the children with, uh, you know, uh, value less than the, uh, the other one. So we started with the left one and uh, let's check it out whether uh, the right child is fit inside the array. So let's say if child index plus one is less than elements that count which means the right child is inside the the array can we can find it inside the array then if it is happening then we should check whether uh you know the uh, right child is greater than the left child right so let's say elements and uh, child index plus one is greater than elements child index or let me wrap this one inside uh, another parenthesis or elements child index actually we should check this one for uh, for the max hip right so let me check say is max hip and this one and for the other one, we should say if this is not a max hip, is uh, max hip and element child index plus one is less than elements child index. In this case, we are going to move on to the right child. So let's say child index plus equal to one. We move to the child, uh, the right child. Okay. Now uh, it's time to uh, compare the children with its parent, right? So let's say if this is a max hip and the value is less than element uh, for the child index or this is not a max hip and value is greater than actually it should be elements that child index in this case we should say elements and i should be replaced with elements at child index and i should be child index else we should break from this um, you know while loop and at the end of this while loop we should say elements at i should be value there we go here is the bubble down function to test our heap data structure i just added a new data type here so let me show it here as you can see i defined a task structure here with two property priority and name then i confirm to comparable protocol since we need to confirm to uh, comparable here for heap data structure so as you can see here I confirm to comparable here then I define a few number of uh, instances from the task uh, here with different priority and names then I made a new instance of the heap data structure with task as the data type and it's not a max heap so it's a min heap then I try to add and insert this uh, task inside the uh, you know this heap and then i try to remove uh, you know the elements from this heap one by one so let's check it out and see whether this is working correctly or not so let me try to run my code swift problem.swift but as you can see my uh, you know program is crashing and what is the reason uh, for this crash it is happening because we didn't check um, whether our you know heap contain only one element inside the remove uh, function right so um, if 
it's only contained uh, one element, we should not perform this swap operation, right? So let's say guard element dot count greater than one, else let's say return element dot remove last. There we go. Now let's try to run our uh, data structure one more time. And as you can see, this is giving us um, the list of tasks based on um, you know the priority. It started with do homework because the priority is one and we are using a min here. Uh, as you can see here, the flag is false. And the next one is uh, wash dishes because the priority is two. And the last one is cleanery room. There we go, here's the implementation for our uh, heap data structure. Thank you for watching this video.